Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapring Chronicles. Today we're coming back at you with another Ratchet video. Today is something maybe a little bit interesting. Uh, I have a... Aria? Or Aria? A ratchet made in Mexico. So, but before we jump into this, if you can give me a like and also subscribe to this channel. If you find these videos to be any way helpful or entertaining, I would appreciate it. Okay, uh, this is a half inch drive ratchet. It's, if you look at it, it's a Proto. It's a, it's a copy of a Proto 5449. But this one, actually, it has the number 5449 on the plate and it has where it's made in Mexico. And there's an interesting backstory to these ratchets and these tools. Uh, Aria uh, was a Mexican company, a uh, tool company, but there was a lot of mergers and acquisitions, always these mergers and acquisitions. Uh, Proto had, a while back, had a factory I believe in Mexico and they started producing tools in Mexico and they had a division called Proto Mexico or Proto Mex which uh, I'm not sure how it got acquired and how it morphed but you know Proto got got bought up by Stanley and then I think Stanley uh, somehow might be the owners also of this company I'm not sure but there's a whole lot of stuff going on with the mergers and acquisitions there but ultimately Proto Mex or Proto Mexico became Aria and I believe they're a pretty popular brand of tools that uh, are made in Mexico I'm sure a lot of our friends from uh, south of the border will recognize these tools and the name of the company. And uh, uh, how do I, let me jump into this? Uh, I have problems with this this ratchet. It looks off the bat. There's a a decent knurling on the handle. It's a very shiny chrome very deep chrome on there uh for some reason it doesn't look abused like usually you see a ratchet you open it up and you have problems inside a lot of times you can tell there'll be hammer marks on the handle or you see marks on the head where it was used as a hammer at some point this one doesn't exhibit any of those problems there's no marks I don't see any where it would be used as a hammer. I don't see any hammer marks on the handle. So I'm thinking, okay, it's a good ratchet. And first thing, when I tried to take these screws off, not these screws, these are replacements. I had to, I had to put replacements on here because the original screws, and I'll show you right now, the original screws are bent. You see how bent they are? Both screws are bent. This one, this one mostly. You see how, how warped that screw is. And these were hard to get out, believe it or not. And I'm not sure if these are the original screws. I see they have like little anchors on the underside of the screw head to uh, keep keep them from turning. I'm not sure if these are the original ones or what the story is. Maybe they were over torqued or uh, I have no idea. I've never seen something like that before. And here this one is also bent to a degree. You see how it's like it's like turning up there don't know what happened there okay these are the original screws anyhow let's open it up 
and see what's going on inside. Okay, another thing was that when the plate was connected to the anvil, let me pull it out. When I first got it, I wasn't able to get the plate off. Even though it was turning smoothly, I couldn't get the plate off of the anvil. It was like a lip here or something. It was mushroomed somehow that even though it was turning fine, but when I was trying to get it out, it was getting stuck like around here and I had to like hammer it out. Then I took, I took a file and some sandpaper and I took a little bit off to get it now where it's, it's able to, uh, it still hangs, there's still spots that are a little like you can feel it like right there. But uh, pretty much it comes off pretty easy now. And here's the plate. plate is uh, fairly thick but kind of light. I'm not sure what kind of metal they use for this. I'm also not sure if this, was, if this is warped itself or distorted. It seems pretty flat. But I, I do see like a little bit of bowing on certain edges. I don't know, can you catch that? Maybe that's just an optical illusion, I'm not sure, but I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, here's the inside. Just the typical uh, Proto design. This is a copy of the Proto. The only thing I will say, it's kind of... Uh, let me get a pointer. Kind of rough in here a little bit in spots. If you look at the walls here, they got like deep lines here where they uh, where they bored this out. They didn't really do much cleanup afterwards. These are pretty deep lines there. And some deep lines over here too. And over here. So, see on the other side, you see all these deep lines. You can hear them. So the broaching is kind of um, iffy. And let's do a quick comparison. Here's a an actual proto. This is a Proto 4, I mean 5, 4, 4, 9. This is 14BL. Let's open this up. Okay. Let's open this up real quick just want to show the plate real quick this one for some reason feels heavier this plate as opposed to that one and they're about the same thickness so mm, I don't know what's going on there maybe different metals not sure here's the inside of a, an actual proto you can see the sides are pretty smooth a little bit of lines there but not the same as these lines deep broaching lines and this overall looks a bit better done inside this is uh, the spud model with the pointy tip but the head is uh, the same as all protos Put that aside. So yeah, 
And another thing, let me take these out. These poles, they're pretty rough themselves. You can see, like, there's some pretty wavy lines here. This is pretty rough. The other side is also very rough. That's the top of the the pole. And the bottom here doesn't seem everything I don't know, it just seems overall rough. It doesn't seem like it was rounded very well. You see there. I don't know, uh, but the biggest problem I guess I had with this ratchet was when I put it all together, and I tightened it down. is not doing it now. Now it's working pretty good. But before, before when I would put it together, put the, the plate on, screw it down, but when I put a little bit of torque on these screws, this would, the anvil would move, but it would catch somewhere on its uh on its on the circumference somewhere it was rubbing on something i'm not sure what the hell it was doing but uh it would go you would ratchet it and then it would hit a spot and stop and then you would have to apply a lot of pressure to get it to go over that spot and then it would ratchet it, and then once it hit the spot again it would stop again like i said before what i did is i, I opened the hole up a little bit more i sanded and filed the hole a little bit over here which solved two problems because now i can get the plate out without it being attached to the anvil and it kind of loosened up that that tight spot wherever it was on the anvil with the plate or i'm not sure about this either or maybe the tight spot was over here but I didn't sand or file this but I did I did hit it a few times with a, a plastic hammer and that seemed to have worked pretty good because after that after the, the filing and the taps with the hammer it seemed everything seemed to settle in okay and now it's uh, very little back drag and it seems like everything is normal but uh, I don't know I don't know what to say about uh, this brand maybe I got a lemon it seems pretty sturdy doesn't look too bad the insides a little bit rough but you know if the metal is good and the poles and the gear is all good then you know you can live with a little roughness inside but I don't know I'm kind of this ratchet left me a little bit lukewarm for this brand so yeah that's gonna be my review on this okay guys until next time